and welcome back to Larand Gaming and if you're new to the channel, welcome! My name is Larand and we are at part 5 of unlocking all the special fishing areas. Today we're gonna go to the pyramids and to get started right away we're gonna go and check the map. We have the quest available. I'm on a private VIP server just to prevent uh, things from being already finished. So we're gonna press this one and uh, we're gonna need to talk to Carbon at Pharaoh Dunes. So let's head to the balloon and have a little chat with him. Uh, the benefit now is that it's become night and uh, the first quest here is gonna be that we're gonna need to collect star pieces. We're gonna see fragments laying on the ground and uh, since it's gonna be night time apparently now when I record those pieces will show a brighter light and it's gonna be easier to find them. Uh, you can do this also during daytime no problem at all but they are a little bit more difficult to find. So we have a star that uh, split into five pieces. We need to find every single piece. They are located somewhere within the game on different islands. Uh, as far as I know, all the pieces are located on islands where... Oh, I can, <laughs> I can already see one star piece over there. That's nice. We can take it right away. But uh, <laughs> five pieces and uh, every island that has a hot air balloon uh, will have one of those pieces. So we go back to Port Jackson. Now I already have one piece and that is uh, from Pharaoh Dunes. I would expect that we have one piece also here in Port Jackson. So we're gonna continue with that most likely. Uh, yeah, exactly. Over here is a very popular spot, at least for me. <laughs> I have found many pieces of uh, this star lying on the ground here uh, sometimes also behind the aquarium but uh, seems to be fixed positions however they are randomized between these fixed positions so they are not totally random like the treasure chests so that's good to know uh, we're gonna go to the hot air balloon and go to the next island I try to do this in such way that I go from the easiest place, which is Port Jackson, then I go to Eruption Island, I go to Shadow Island, I go to Ancient Shores, and then I end up at Pharaoh Dunes. And now I already got that piece, so we are already two pieces into the game, or two pieces into the quest, I should say. And we are right next to the third piece. This is also a very common place, sometimes over at the village or the beach over there has also been uh, delivering pieces to me. Uh, good places to check. Uh, we continue to Shadow Island. This island is usually the easiest one to find the star pieces because there is not that much land mass uh, and uh, it's very it's very centralized and open. So once you get up on top you're... Oh! <laughs> we... <laughs> Alright, okay. So I guess we have to redo this. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, that was unexpected. Well, hold on and I will just synchronize everything and continue. <laughs> yes, and we are back again. Now I synchronized everything. I have three star fragments. Now this time in Pharaoh Dunes, the star fragment was located in the city. And in Port Jackson, it was right next to the balloon at the... Uh, Eruption Island, it was actually the same place as uh, you saw in this uh, first section of the video. 
and we are here now it's daytime still so now it's gonna be a little bit harder to find them but we're gonna see if uh, they should be located on one of the islands and uh, yeah here we have one so that's number four we're gonna go for the last one which is uh, in ancient shores and that's gonna also be the i think the most difficult one because you have so many trees and also on top of that we have daytime <laughs> So we will see if we can find it quick or if it will take time. Sometimes it's up at Goliath, so I'm gonna go there or directly. Uh, so we can exclude that place if it's not located at that place. Uh, see, so I can't see the star piece here this time. That's unfortunate. Uh, and then we have a few other popular places. Uh, one of them is right down here. And I cannot... Yep. Yeah. I, I see one. I see the last piece. Perfect. So then we have all the five pieces. As you can see. One, two, three, four, five. Meaning that we are ready to go back to Faro Dunes. And here we are. Back at Quest Giver Carbon. For some reason there are double texts here. And same goes with my parrot. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Uh, so I have all the pieces. Putting them together as a star. And the pyramids gets, well, I would say enabled <laughs> by some light. And it opens. Now all the remaining parts is inside the pyramid. So we go inside. We're gonna pull a lever. So we open up this floor. This old puzzles with this labyrinth is closed. And also the mirror quest is gone. So this opens up the staircase. We go down to this facility. It's the facility X02 <laughs> to be precise. Now we're going to start with a puzzle that I love. <laughs> it's the wiring puzzle. This is a puzzle I have played so much in the past on my mobile phone. But uh, there it's called Free Flow or Flow Free, I should say. Uh, so I have done these, well, I would say, almost every day the past three years. So even though I've done it so much, uh, I still see them as, yeah, they are fairly easy to solve if you have done them that much. But uh, still, I really, really love these puzzles. And I usually just see the solution right away. So uh, this is the solution for that puzzle. Uh, I might do a tutorial later how to think and how to do these puzzles. Because it requires a little bit of planning. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> that was the first one. We're going to go to the second one. And this is the one where you're going to identify aliens. Quite special puzzle, I must say. And here we're going to scan three aliens. And uh, the scanner will reveal different body parts. And we're going to mimic those body parts into each of these cylinders. So we're going to start by scanning this one first. So that's the solution gonna memorize it and uh, we need to click the different body parts until we get the right piece so we have uh, that claw we had some oh, metallic leg and I believe that's all yes so that's the first one we're gonna move on to the second one so this one is fairly easy hands like that and this leg was something like this perfect and then we have the last one. Also fairly simple. It had these hands. It has had this metallic kind of leg. It had a different chest this time. Question is, was it that one? I think it was that one. And uh, I think, yeah, that worked. That was the trickiest one, actually. But uh, yeah, I, mem I remembered it right. <laughs> And uh, then we continue. We have hacking. It's the next thing that we need to do. And that's the all. Uh, 
And that is also the last thing that we're gonna do. Now this marker doesn't really correspond to my expectations. It should be over here though. Weird. I haven't seen that one before. But alright, we go in here. So this is where you do the hacking. Let's see. Hopefully this will work. Uh, what we need to do here is to navigate this green dot over the fields. So once you are on a line, it gets stuck there. And uh, then you're gonna go over five times. Or if you do this on a public server, uh, you do this together. So it will show your name on the location where you have uh, gone through with this file because this is some data file so we're gonna just move these dots over to the other side Two more. You have plenty of time doing this, so there's really no rush. And if you need to jump backwards, that's okay. It's not like you can become game over or something. And there we go. And we have quest complete. Facility X02. Meaning that this center area has become unlocked. You have now full access to this special fishing area. Uh, you have this amazing UFO. You have the timer of 30 minutes ticking. Yeah, maybe one day I will have the UFO. It needs a, a lot of fishing though. So I have still a lot of things to do here. As you can see. Uh, I'm still waiting to get the mutation boost. So, yeah. But the fishes here are great. They are with an alien theme. You can see what we get on our first throw. So that's an alien flounder. Check the fish index. So you have these normal ones that we had uh, in Fishing Simulator. But then we have the alien starfish. You have the alien unicorn fish. You have the alien flounder. You have alien scorpion fish. And this <laughs> that looks like a face hugger from Alien. It's an alien sand ray. So those are the fishes that you are <laughs> supposed to expect in this area. And uh, I believe they have also fixed the throwing mechanism here in a new patch that they released just recently. So now it doesn't throw with full strength because that was a problem here before. So you had to find different locations to fish. But yeah, they are working really hard with all the updates, so that is also super exciting to see because every single day the, the game becomes better and better. And the restart that we had during this video, they fixed apparently a lot of mobile related issues. So <laughs> maybe it's time for you on the mobile to, to go and check it out if it wasn't possible before to, to play the game. But yes. In any case, that was all I had for you today. If you do have any questions and comments about this, please put them below. Like this video if you would like to see more content from Fishing Simulator. Fishing Simulator, Fishing Frontier, oh my god. <laughs> and other Roblox games. Please subscribe and uh, yes, have a nice day. Right, Carbon? Absolutely fascinating. Yep. Yeah, there's a timer. Yeah, we need to hurry up. <laughs> hurry up. Bye.